Hello, Edward here. Let's take a look at some of the new features and changes in Xerox 7.10 software. Uh, the first of which is a big refresh to Phantom Xerox, as we can see here. The Flex on the left-hand side of my screen and Flex S24 on the right had a big update to their front panels to make them much easier to use on PC. And Flex S48 has also had an update too. Another big feature that's been introduced is full multi-cell fixture support. This means if I want to, I can go and raise the intensity of LED buttons, for example, fixtures with multiple individual cells. I can go ahead and start to choose a color on those and that will be applied to all cells of the button. I can then, if I want, go and use multi-touch in the color picker and spread those colors across the cells of my buttons. Going to effects, I could go and run a effect across that, and that will then run across the cells of that button as well. I can also grab control of individual cells and control each cell individually. Go and check out our dedicated training sessions for more information. Another new feature that's come to the Flex console in this software is the ability to use at plus and minus syntax. If I like the level my lights are at, but I want them to go to 50% of the overall level, I can go and say at minus 50 enter. And to access plus and minus, you can do a shift up or shift down in the arrow keys. And that will then boost or reduce your overall level by a percentage. Another function that's coming to flex range consoles is move to functionality. If you do a shift and copy, you will see you have a move option within the copy and move window. So you can do a shift copy to access the move to functionality. As well as move to, there is also updates to move on dark. You now have the option to actually force a move per queue. Uh, if we go and view a queue stack that I've got pre-programmed and you go into the settings of that playback, I can see that in move on dark, I have the option to don't move an attribute. You've always had this option, but now if you go and say don't move position and click OK, if you now go into the settings of any of your queues, you now have the option to force a move for that particular queue. So you can tell the console, don't move any of my positions, but then go into certain queues and allow the console to prep your lights in that specific queue. As well as these changes, there's also a big update to the library in the console. Go ahead, go and search for the fixture you need. There'll be a big update to the amount of fixtures in the library. And if your fixture is still missing, just get in touch and we'll get it added for the next update. As well as that, there are 30 other enhancements included in 0710. So do go ahead, download it from the website, get it installed and enjoy some of the new features.